Hi there! Let me show you how to upload images, create annotations, assign classes, copy objects, and more with Super Annotate desktop app. Let's start by learning how to upload images. While you're in the editor, click on the left arrow in the right panel, click on Choose Files, and select the images you want to upload. If you want to delete an image, just click X. Use any of the tools in the left panel to create annotations. Choose the tool depending on the shape of the object you want to annotate. For objects that have a geometric shape, it's best to go with the Polygon tool. Click on the Polygon tool in the left panel and outline the object you want. Here's a tip. Zoom in on the object for better annotation results. You can always modify the annotation by changing the position of the points. Also, if you're annotating adjacent objects, you can create adjacent polygons by connecting the points. To delete an annotation, select it and press the backspace key or the delete key, or simply find the instance in the right panel and click remove. To assign a class to your instance, you can right-click on the instance and choose a class from the drop-down menu, or you can assign it to an existing class from the right panel. You can also assign a class to your object before annotating it. Select the Class Selection tool in the left panel, choose a class, and annotate your object using any tool you want. Here's a hack if you want to assign the same class to multiple instances. Select the eyedropper tool, click on an object to sample its class, and select the unassigned objects. Now let's say you've made a mistake and assigned your object to the wrong class. In this case, all you have to do is right-click on the object and select another class from the drop-down menu, or move it to another class in the right panel. If you want to create a new class, select right-click on the instance, click Create a new class, then click New class. Choose a color, give your class a name, and add attributes if needed to make your class more detailed. Check Allow Multiple Selection if multiple attributes can be assigned to the same object for your specific use case. When you do that, you'll be able to assign multiple attributes to an object. If you have similar objects in one image or successive images, like this case for instance, you might want to copy the annotations to save time. Select the annotation, click Copy in the top panel, or press Ctrl-C, then paste the object wherever you want or press Ctrl-V. You can copy and paste objects across different frames as well. This comes especially in handy with object tracking. Other than copying objects, you can also group them. In some cases, you might need to use more than one tool to annotate a single object. To let the system know that several annotations belong together, you need to group them. To do that, select an annotation and press and hold the control key. While holding the control key, Click on the elements you want to select. Finally, select Group in the top panel. If you think you've made a mistake, select Ungroup or press Ctrl Shift G and start over. Select the I button in the top panel or press R to show or hide the annotated objects. You can filter instances and images by one class, multiple classes, or no class at all. To do that, click on Classes in the right panel and choose how you want to filter your instances and images. Let's choose one class. Only the instances that belong to that class will be visible. You can also choose multiple classes, like so. This tool is great if you want to see if there's an instance that doesn't have a class. In this case, click on No Class in the filter menu, find the instance, and assign it to a class. Thanks for being an awesome viewer. 
and see you in the next video.